Hello my family members, as you all know in some of colleges Xavier is conducting their exams from 7th September to 14th September. So I have planned to upload previous year questions of Xavier in this channel. Today we will start with coding questions. So I would request you to please save the playlist of Xavier previous year questions and subscribe this channel. Okay, let's start. So the first question is about lexicographical order. Uh, there is an ID code that is supposed to be given to all the aspirants of an exam. It is a substring of a given string. That means the authority takes a string and then assigns all the unique substrings to all the students. Suppose there is a string A, B, C, D, E. So the IDs of the students will be A, B, C, D, E and A, B, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, B, C, B, C, D, B, C, D, E, C, D, C, D, E, C, D, D, E. The students are standing in a line according to the lexicographic order of their given IDs. You have to find out the ID of the last student for the given input string from which the IDs are generated. Input format is given like single line with the ID generating string and the output format is given as this. The last ID as per lexicographical order and the constraints to be followed is this. Sample input in this case is ABDC and the output is DC. I am explaining how. Actually, lexicographical order means uh, the dictionary order, right? So if you uh, write A, B, C and A, B, C, D, then the last element in the dictionary will be A, B, C, D, right? And if you write uh, like mango and then mangoes, then the last word will be mangoes in the dictionary, right? So as per the dictionary, we have to arrange the IDs from which uh, from this string, right? So at actually we have to actually in this case you can see that that abdc can be divided into this part like a ab abd abdc and b bd bdc and c d dc right so if you arrange them by lexicographical order that means by dictionarical order then the last word should be dc right it is very normal uh, idea right Okay, at first look at the uh, ASCII value of all the letters, then it will be more clear. Actually, in this code, we will implement ASCII value, uh, ASCII value knowledge, right? So, value of A, ASCII value of A is 97 and the ASCII value of E is 101, right? So, from both of them, which will be the last element in the dictionary? Obviously, E, right? So, the element which is lesser than uh lesser than the lesser than any of the character this should not be in the last position right okay let's start with the coding then it will be more clear to you right okay at first take the input right input i'm not taking any function as of now because uh, this will uh, more more actually broader right so j is equal to one initialize this uh, initialize this variable uh, to one it will be used to iterate through the string right and let's take c is equal to zero uh, it will actually keep track of the string index of the largest substring and now you uh, we will use a while loop to iterate through the characters of the string right so while j less than length of the s i mean length of the string right so compare the ASCII values of characters at position C and J in the string, right? So check if wordy of wordy of SC, that means at the position of C of the string, if if it is lesser than the value or wordy value of, I mean the ASCII value of S of J. If so, then assign the j value at c right and then increment the value of j plus is equal to 1 right to iterate through the next element of the string right okay let then just print the value of um, last element right so print the last element right so print a c slicing i mean the last element right actually in this uh, line we are uh, printing the lexicographically largest substring 
starting from index C to the end of the string, right? Okay, now run the code, then it will be, I think, okay, right? So the sample input was A, B, D, C, right? A, B, D, C. So the output is D, C, right? Okay, now if we run A, B, C, D, E, then what will be the output? Do you think A, B, C, D, E, the output should be E, right? Because uh, the E has the largest element, I mean the largest uh, ASCII value. But if we take A, B, E, D, C, then obviously the value of the output will be E, D, C, right? Because from here, I mean, if we divide the e, A, B, E, D, C, then we will get A, B, C, D, E as different ID, then B, E, D, C, E, D, C, D, C, right? But, but if we calculate the ASCII value of them, then we will get the larger value in this case, E, D, C, right? Because this actually comes at the last of the dictionary. So let's run this, then it will be clear, E, B, D, C. Okay, so I hope this video session was helpful to you. So if you want more such video, then please comment down and suggest me and please subscribe this channel. Thank you.